Throughout the history of the church, Mary has always played this very important role and was always treated with this profound respect, honor, and reverence, for she is the mother of our Lord, for she's the mother of the Savior, she's the mother of the King of heaven and earth, she's the mother of the Redeemer of the whole world. This is why we should always approach Mary like our cousin Elizabeth, where we say, who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For whenever we approach Mary with a sincere heart, or we seek her help, we should do it with this real affectionate reverence. For she is Christ's mother, and our mother in the spiritual way. Her main role is to help us avoid sin, or if we do sin, to confess our sins, to, to really live a real holy life, and follow close to our Lord in the way that leads toward eternal life in the midst of the fallen world. For Mary is taught by the early church fathers to be the new Eve, and if we understand sacred scripture, Eve was placed in the garden to help Adam. But Eve was deceived by Satan and led Adam into sin. Then in salvation history, Christ symbolically becomes the new Adam who does not disobey God through sin, but took on the sin of the world to draw all humanity back to God and wash us clean from our disobedience through his sacrifice on the cross. And Mary, likewise, by a privileged and singular grace, did not sin, but led her son down the holy path toward the cross. And so she was placed purposely in the role of salvation to help us Christians to live the holy lives we ought to live in order that we may enter into the new paradise that was opened through the suffering and death of God's Son. For the way to heaven has been opened through Christ and his church, and no one can close it but us by a free choice of rejecting the Christ or choosing to live in mortal sin till death in opposition to church teaching and rejecting all the help that Mary offers and the grace that flows from the sacraments to become as holy as we ought.